All right, welcome back to part three of your um, of the D and D online tutorial. Uh, I was in the middle of explaining the wilderness tab. Uh, I covered Slayer and what Slayer and how Slayer works. Explorer. Uh, that's basically you have points, quest entrances, and other landmarks in the area that you can explore. You gain a little bit of experience for them. You gain a boost of experience when you gain all of them, when you find all of them. Same with the rare encounters. Experience for each one and experience for the whole bunch. Rare encounters will only occasionally spawn. They don't always spawn. So don't, uh... So if you're, uh, if you can't find them, you know, keep going back through. Uh, you'll never be able to get Slayer on the first time. You'll have to keep getting monsters to respawn. Best way to get monsters to respawn: rest in an inn or do a qu do an instance where you have to rest. Um, that's my my key mechanic is resting. Some people will say five minutes. I've found that isn't always accurate. So uh, also, if you can't find the explorers or the rare encounters. DDOWiki.com has maps. Use them uh, if you want to. Patrons. Uh, this is this tracks the amount of favor you've gotten, and I really don't want to get into favor too heavily since we're talking about UI. Uh, but if you hover over this, it'll tell you uh, your representative, um, and which is meh. And the representative, which is who you talk to when you come to when, every time you f fulfill a level, and who, so it's who you talk to, uh, what what their what this group is about. Um, it tracks the amount of favor you've earned for each faction, and then in total, uh, each faction has rewards as you get new and new ranks. Uh, so you get 75 favor with the coin lord. You become reliable, and that's when you get your first bag slot. Uh, other ma other ones, uh, free agents give you repair and heal kits that are at plus one and plus two. So very useful. Uh, you know they're all m mildly useful. They're all good to have. Uh, next step. Social panel. Social panel is very, very important. It has got your friends list, your guild if you're part of one. If you want to make a guild, you need to buy a guild charter. Sorry about that. And uh, there's the Who menu. This allows you to search for people. Uh, very key, especially when you're looking for players in a group. Uh, tell, tell people that, uh, you know, send a statement, uh, you know, you can send that and then, I can actually find myself and it says I'm looking for you. Uh, I'm not sure how to tell my, s to say that I'm, uh, and then here over in grouping I can tell myself I'm looking for party. And over here, now it says, hey, look, I am looking for group. So it is a very, very key mechanic. Uh, I want to erase that looking for group message because I'm not right now. Uh, show me groups that I am not eligible for. I don't want that because I only want groups I'm eligible for. Notice how it's dark. Hide content I don't own. That's a very key one. That means if you have content that you haven't paid for, you can click this, and then quests that involve that, I don't, uh, you don't find. You can create parties. If no, if there's a party you want to join here, uh, you can create one. Watch your level range. Uh, make sure it's appropriate to your quest. If you're, this automatically defaults to two levels bef below and two levels above. Uh, so what you might want to try is if you're in a quest where being much lower than you isn't good, you might want to bump that level range up, uh, the minimum level requirement. Don't just put it out, you know, you do this, why the hell are you going to do that? You don't want to group with a level 20, unless you're doing a favor slash loot run. But favor loot runs, uh, and then put it out. You 
click this, it'll advertise. You can use this create party to modify your quest requirements at any time. So say, you know, you get a bunch of people but you don't have any healing. So you come in here, remove all the, the non-healer classes, non-healing capable classes, put in, you know, healer Healer needed, update my party. Um, and then healers will, clerics and, and divine souls will look at your party. You can choose a quest if you want. This is especially important if you're going to be doing stuff that's in, you know, content. That's in uh, pay-to-play content. Or pay-for content, not pay-to-play. It's still not pay-to-play. Uh, and then elite, and then you can choose your difficulty if it's key for you. So that's very big. It also, if you're if you're the group leader, you have outstanding invitation requests. You can uh, check out your invitation requests here. If a bunch of people uh, request it at once, and you want to look at all of them at, in, uh, at the same time, and I don't want to actually put out a group. Okay. So I have a few little bit of time. DDO store. Uh, Look around yourself. I don't really need to explain that too much. That's not part of the game UI. That's not why I'm here. Here. Help menu. When you go here, if you are VIP or uh, paid for anything within the last 45 days, uh, so you're premium and, you be, and uh, you've renewed your premium within the last 45 days, you don't ever need to renew premium, but if you pay for something within... If you've paid for uh, points within the last 45 days, or your account got dropped in the last 45 days, you know, you dropped your uh, subscription, you have the ability to get live GM support. If you did not get live GM support, you can still put in account support and tech support requests. Use the knowledge base, then look here. They will contact you via email. It is not live support. They don't have the money to put live support to everyone who's not putting money into this game. You still are going to be able to report a bug, get hints, look at the frequently asked questions, look at the, do the knowledge base, use the non-live support options. Live support is purely for premium and VIP. If you're free to play, I'm sorry to hear that. If you're complain, if that's a deal breaker for you, leave. This is a very, I think this is a very equitable arrangement, and, and allows, um, and allows them to prioritize their uh, needs properly. The other thing to look at in the the menu, and I've mentioned this before, is go to your options. Look at all your options, key bindings, uh, UI settings. You know, there's a lot of stuff here, and they're all. You know, you can play with them a little bit, um, and it just, a lot of stuff it can play back. Gameplay, I've mentioned this before, but disable chat profanity filter. Uh, there's also ability to disable chats. I've occasionally had my chats disappear, though, when I've tried that. I haven't been able to get my chat back when I come out of a private area. So, and I've had the log to get those back. Uh, I specifically did that with general chat. So, use at your own risk. Uh, do I have the time? Yes, I do. Okay. Last thing is audio. If you're in a group, you're gonna want. You might want to use voice chat. You have to enable voice chat right here. A uh, very important uh, comment. So um, the enable voice chat will uh, allow you to use it. Mic test. You click it, and now you you'll hear your voice as uh, other people will hear it. So it's very important uh, that that allows you to test the volume of your mic as other people should be hearing it if they have the same uh, voice volume. This adjusts the re the volume of received voice audio. So if it's too loud, you can bring it down. Uh, There is a threshold for audio that'll be captured. Hands-free voice allows you to 
always be broadcasting uh, if you don't want to do push to talk. Key mapping somewhere in here, there's a push to talk. Yeah, right here. Voice push to talk. It's uh, defaulted to F. So, uh, very important there.